that to him. The Bible talks about unity. I'm going to show you that. Then I'm going to get back to color for you and you for you. Zephaniah 21. Watch this. Come on, come on, come on. Zephaniah. You must read the Old Testament to understand the New Testament. If you reject the Old, you will not understand the New Testament. Good eyes. Come on. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather you, yourselves together. Hey, gather together, O nation not desired. Are we desired as a people or not desired? Are we desired? I mean, do the other nations desire us to be wealthy and rich? Or no? No, they don't desire us. They keep us, they want us to mix with them, but the price is that we're on the bottom. Even in America, we mix with white people and all that, but the black is always on the bottom. And we're the Israelites, the Bible speaks of. Give me some more. Song of Solomon 1 and 5. Color. Color is very important. Race is important. Why? The truth matters. You understand that, young man? The only thing that matters is the truth. If you say color does not matter, you don't care about the truth. You care about lies. And this is why your people are divided, impoverished, and on the bottom for all the years. Come on, John 8, 32, I want to know after this. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. I am black, but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. Let's see who wrote this, verse 1. Verse 1, the song of songs, which is Solomon. Which is what? Which is Solomon. So King Solomon wrote the song of Solomon. Verse 5 again. I am black, but comely. The word comely means handsome. Solomon says, I am black. That's right. So when people say it's not in the Bible, nobody, that's a lie. It's a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie. John 8, 32, watch this. This is why it's important to know the truth. The book of St. John, chapter 8, and verse 32. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Are we free as a people? No. no. The Bible says you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. We are in a poverty state. Poverty. We are so poor we will rob and kill each other because we reject the truth. The once we accept the truth, we will begin to be set free as a people. Coming back to our true identity, not as Jamaicans, not as West Indians, not as Caribbeans, but as Israelites. That's right. Read it again. The book of John, 8 and 32. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Now, here, here, how is that? Yes, let me get to a question, young man. What's your question? Yeah, I'm here to talk apart with the ladies and yes. the fans. Yes. Also, among us, as the, as the Creator and say, he, uh, he make everyone in his own image. Yes. Do it right for a man to bore his ear? Okay. He asked, is it right for a man to bore his ear? Give me the scripture in Exodus. Give me the one in Exodus. We got a concordance with Moses. I'm going to get to that in a second. So now, we are made in the image of God. Is woman made in the image of God? Yeah, we are. We are. We are. In his own we are. Exodus 32. Exodus 32 and verse. Verse 1. Verse 1. Verse 1. Verse two. Verse two. Aaron God. The book of Exodus chapter 32 and verse Aaron. 2. And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, your sons, and your daughters, and bring them unto me. There was always a custom in Israel we wore earrings. The difference was we never tried to be a woman. There was a difference. In ancient times, it was not a sin for a man to wear an earring. He was not trying to be a woman. But today, you have a lot of homosexuals who wear it. Why? Because they want to be like a woman. That's where the sin comes in. You understand? So now, one question, one moment. He said, we're all in the image of God. Is that right? We're all in the image of God? Right? Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 11. Come on, stay with me, stay with me. I'm going to show you something very important. I want all you women to understand this. Because America, this is good. With Christianity, they teach that it's, we're all equal. Right? Let's see what the Bible says. I don't want no lips stuck out. I don't see no teeth sucking. Gum suck. Just listen to it. Yep. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, and verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. You hear the order? There's an order amongst our people that God ordained. God, Christ, man, woman. 
There was never an equality thing. Now I ask one of you about the image of, I ask you. You said we're all an image of God, right? Jump down to verse 8, I think it is. Is that seven. what I want? Seven. Verse 8. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman. Verse 7. Verse 7. For the man in, excuse me, for the man indeed ought not to cover his head. For as much as, excuse me, for as much as he is the image and the glory of God. Man is the image and glory of God. You are the image and glory of God. You are the image and glory of God. You are the image and glory of God. But what about the woman? But the woman is the glory of the man. The woman is the glory of man. Why? Because she came from us. You came from us. Read on. Verse 8. For, for the man is not of the woman. Man is not of the woman. Meaning in the beginning, Adam did not come from Eve. But the woman of the man. Eve came from Adam. Read. Verse 9, neither was the man created for the woman. You were not created to serve woman. You were not created to serve woman. You were not created to serve woman. Who's speaking? God. Right. Through Paul. That's right. But the woman for the man. The woman was created for the man. A lot of our people, especially in America, hate that. That's why they will not get the kingdom of heaven on earth. Until we humble ourselves to what this book says, we're not going to get the kingdom. We're going to die. Because we don't know a white man says we're all equal. That's not in here. That's not in the Bible that we're all equal. One answer to the yes. hearing part. Just answer Are you back to the hearing? <laughs> yes. It is right and it is wrong. Okay. Just answer it one way, no or yes. You read it's the scripture that yes, you're like, it's right. It is right. Yes. A, a, a man to boys here. We just read it. Read it again. Exodus 32. Listen to it. I want you to listen to it. Listen to it. I want you to listen to it. The book of Exodus, chapter 32, and verse 2. And I'm going to get you another one. Too. And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings, which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons, and of your daughters. So now, give me the one in Job. I believe it's the last chapter where his friends gave him gifts. Job 42, I believe it is the last chapter. It says they each gave him a gift. I can't even see. So I'm depending on you. Find it right. The book of Job, chapter 42, Listen, and I'm verse 11. Then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house, and they bemoaned him, and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. Every man also gave him a piece of money, and every one an earring of gold. Everybody gave Job an, ear, an earring of gold. Why? Because it was never a sin for a man to have earrings. I told you the problem today is Men are trying to be effeminate. Men are trying to be homosexual. But I would like so when they wear it, then yes. Why take it from them? What the occasion that you take it from Aaron took the Oh, Aaron took the, the earrings from their sons because he wanted to make an idol. He needed material to make the golden calf. He said, an idol calf. He said, take the earrings out of your son's ears, your wives, and your daughters. Give me all the earrings. Because young boys wore earrings. So do they replace it, Pastor? I uh, give, them, give them any return to them. Yes, give, them what? give them any return back. Did they get the them back? back, 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 back. back ears ring? No, no. Well, the scripture don't go into that. Okay. It don't go into that. Okay. okay. I, I'm by feeling it okay. is wrong. Okay. So now, this is King James. Sorry, sorry. Yes. Can we read the NIV. Uh, we read the King James. You know what? So why you not I'm sorry. The NIV, they removes the color of the word black. No, man, the NIV are before King James Version. No, it's not. You're, it is not. Why? Who tell you that? It's not. Who tell you that? You can get to Zonda from Bible Dictionary. It will give you the order. NIV is recent and it's copyright. Like in the movies, when you want to use the NIV version, it's copyright by what white man has a copyright? Now I'm going to tell you. I'm going to ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. The NIV version is copyrighted by a white man. You cannot be finished. You cannot use it in movies, for example, without this man's permission. The King James Version is uh, public usage. Why? Because when it was published back in the 1600s, it was for all the people. Who is King James? Huh? We're teaching that we're the Israelites. 
Listen good. Matthew 15, 24. Listen good. Listen good. Listen good. Listen good. That means nothing. It means something. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You Israelites are the lost Israelite. sheep. Dude, where's the sign at? You blacks of Latino and Negro descent are the Israelites. You are the lost sheep. We could care less about the white man. God hates the white man. We're teaching identity to a lost people. If you're not interested in this, this is not for you. Stay here in the poverty. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.